Hello and welcome to EQ Magazine, India's oldest and largest solar media. Joining us today is Mr. Vinit Tyagi from Insulation Energy. Welcome, sir. Uh, thank you, sir. Uh, first of all, I would like to know about, sir, what was the amount of business you did in 2022 calendar year and what is the expectations from 2023? Well, Chirag, I think uh, first of all, uh, I should thank uh, EQ Group and uh, the entire team for this opportunity. I think we have been associated with you guys for almost five, six years since the time we started. So thanks again for that. And uh, regarding business, as you know, recently we came out with our IPO in the month of October. Right, that was a huge success. In fact, we made history. But uh, oh, the issue was oversubscribed around 235 times. That was the best in terms of uh, BSE SME. So that was primarily because of the business and the credentials what we have given in the last years. So we closed around 230 crores uh, for the last year. And uh, since we are expanding uh, our portfolio also now in terms of bigger size modules with the new factory which is going to come up this month probably. And uh, we are looking at a figure of 500 CR next year. All right, All right sir. Good to know, sir. Uh, sir, now I would look, like to know about your product showcasing for this year. Uh, see, I just mentioned that we are expanding our capacity. Right now, we are into uh, the traditional or conventional models, what you say, uh, poly, mono and mono pack. Now we are increasing to 500 plus range also in terms of M10 and M2 also. And Gradually, we are thinking of coming up with the glass to glass modules also and maybe uh, uh, the transparent ones also. Yeah. So, and sir, one of the most important questions from my side is since you are exhibiting in Gujarat, right? So, what are your expectations from the Gujarat market? See, uh, Gujarat, if you see per se, uh, as far as industry is concerned, it's a basically a manufacturing hub. You have all the big players surrounding to Gandhinagar only. Surat, Badoda, we have a large number of manufacturers placed over there. And Gujarat is the state where initially uh, the solar market started in year, way back in 2008 and 9. It's a very big market, I would say, in terms of the that initiative taken by the Gujarat government and in terms of the rooftop segment. What we see the growth in Gujarat is unprecedented across the entire India. So uh, definitely we like to have a chunk of this market from Gujarat. All right, all right, sir. And in the last, I would like to know about any closing remark or uh, your views about the Intersolar 2022? I think the, today is the first day we are hoping for the best and uh, since election time is there, the results are going to be announced. So everybody would like to have a cheerful yeah. <laughs> response. So we are positive. All right, all right, sir. So with this, we wish you all the best for your future endeavors. And th thank you so much for joining us and giving your precious time. Thank you. Thank you, sir.